No, okay, let me make two very important points. Let me start with TfL's finances. So TfL's financial problems long predate coronavirus. The £3.6 billion bailout of Crossrail was entirely down to Sadiq Khan's incompetence. His uh, unaffordable and unrealistic promises on fares exacerbated the problem. He has failed to reform TfL practices in a whole number of areas. Um, where are the driverless trains that could save us huge amounts of money? Why do TfL staff still get to give um, unlimited free travel to their flatmates. All of these things. Why is he failing to stand up to the RMT and ASLEP? Okay. So the finances were shot before coronavirus, and it's Sadiq Khan's responsibility. On the coronavirus point specifically, this suggestion that Heidi Alexander made just there, that the government has insisted upon an extension of the congestion charging zone, is completely and categorically untrue. The government has said that Sadiq Khan, if we're going to make a contribution, if the government, the general taxpayer, is going to make a contribution, as it did earlier this year, and as it did before for Crossrail, we would like to see Sadiq Khan as Mayor of London come up with some savings as well. Now, he's got a number of options, but it's up to the Mayor of London to choose which options he wants to go for. It is totally untrue um, that we're insisting on a congestion charging extension. Sean Bailey, the, mayor, the mayoral candidate, Conservative mayoral candidate, okay. has been clear he opposes it. And uh, as a Conservative London MP, I oppose it as well. But it's well, for Sadiq Khan to make choices himself okay. rather than running away, playing politics and, as always, trying to blame other people.